Hey, how's it going? Parker Welbeck here with FullTimeFilmmaker.com. Coming at you from Hawaii on my favorite island of Oahu. And this week I'm going to be testing out my camera on the all-new iPhone XS Max using the Movi FreeFly as my stabilizer. And I'm going to be showing you how you can get stable, beautiful cinematic footage using just your phone. We're not going to be using any third-party lenses. And just FYI, this video is not sponsored by Apple or by FreeFly. But we do have a sponsor that has made this trip possible and allowed me to come capture after some beautiful footage in Hawaii. This video is sponsored by LastPass. I've started using LastPass on my phone for all of my account passwords because I have like five email addresses and five Instagram accounts and dozens of other apps and softwares that I use to run my business on a daily basis. But like many of you, I'm sure, I somehow forget those passwords from time to time and have to reset the password all the time. And then of course there's my wife who I have to reset her passwords about twice as much as my own. But with LastPass, it stores all of your passwords in one secure vault and will automatically fill them in on apps and sites for you. So it's been awesome using LastPass because on some of the sites they refuse to auto fill my passwords for me, which happens almost daily. LastPass fills in both username and password, making it easier and faster to log into any app or account on my phone. So no more anxiety of getting locked out of your accounts or having to write them down on your notes somewhere. Your passwords are all on autopilot. So check out the link in the description below to learn more about LastPass and save yourself a headache. Well, let's now dive in and show you some of the footage that we've captured with the all new iPhone XS Max at 4K at 60 frames per second using the Filmic Pro app. And then afterwards, I'll give you some of my thoughts of what I liked and what I didn't like about this new camera. Check it out. So there you have it. As you can see, this phone can produce some beautiful images. And after having used a lot of different phones for video, I'd say that this is my favorite phone that I've shot with, and here are a few reasons why. Number one is the dynamic range. It's much improved. Apple has a new HDR software that recognizes the scene and does its best to bring back information in the blown out highlights. The next big thing I noticed, usually when you're using phones on a gimbal like this, the in-camera stabilization conflicts with the gimbal stabilization, and you get some weird, unusable vibration 
stabilizations in the footage. On the XS Max, the stabilization is much improved as well, making it a much more viable option to use gimbals. Number three is portability. My goodness, is this nice to carry around to capture your travel trips. I'm used to hauling around my Red Weapon with a glide cam, and when you compare that to this tiny little setup, it makes a world of a difference. But a couple things that were kind of frustrating with while shooting with the phone all week, and problems that you'll see on pretty much any phone that you're shooting with are, number one, battery life. Phone batteries are only going to last a few hours when shooting video, so I have to haul around an extra battery to recharge a couple times a day if I want to shoot all day. Number two is overheating. You can't shoot very long in direct sunlight without having the phone getting too hot and auto dimming your screen, making it really hard to see what you're filming. Number three is that you can't adjust the aperture, which means you have to keep your shutter speed super high in order to have a correct exposure, which makes the motion look a little bit too choppy. Number four is the sensor size. It's super small, which means you're going to have a highly compressed image. I use the highest bit rate on the Filmic Pro app and it's still going to look super compressed. So it's still not something that I'd use to shoot commercial work with, but again, for documenting vacations or personal projects, it is an amazing setup. But there you have it, that is the iPhone XS Max, super impressed with the video image. And I'm gonna be coming out with a new mini course teaching you how to do mobile filmmaking using just a phone camera. So be on the lookout for that. And for all my lovely non-Apple friends out there, I just ordered the new Pixel 3 and I'll be doing a in-depth comparison to the iPhone XS Max to see which phone is better. So make sure to subscribe for that upcoming content. Well, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my free one-hour filmmaking training. If you haven't already, to see my top 10 tips to achieving cinematic shots, you can watch that by clicking over here and check out the LastPass app for better password management. Link in the description. But that's it. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know.